Good morning. This morning, I'm busy going to cover assignment 2 of INF 1511, or I see they've renamed it because it's becoming extinct, um, XNF 1511, okay? Um, people, I don't know why they say they don't know where to start. Um, if I have a look here, the first place is make sure you've got either Lazarus or uh, Delphi. I prefer using Lazarus, but that's my own choice. And what I do with Lazarus is once I've opened it, it's, it comes up with a blank project, but I'm going to, for the purposes of this video, I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to click on project, new project, ask me what type of project do I want. I'm just going to make it a simple application. I don't want to save any changes to my previous project. I want to recreate a brand new one. On the right hand side basically is my source little code box here. Um, the bottom is where my messages are. This is what my blank form looks like. On the left here I've got an object inspector. On the top here I've got all my controls that I can uh, add on. So having a look at this uh, this assignment I uh, see it's called here assignment 2 pet shop so if I want to rename this form I uh, go down to name over here and according to the textbook the uh, name of forms is FRM so I start by saying FRM and then I use the name as given in the title on over here which is assignment 2 pet shop so I'm going to type that in here, assignment 2 and pitch up, okay, I hit enter and you see how it's changed the caption of my form to what I've typed here. Now that they explain in the textbook as well, so if I click on here, I go to caption, um, which is a property of the forms and I can easily just go and delete the word FRM and there I've got my form label already and if I have a look at these uh, options here I can see there is one two three four five six buttons um, so I can quite easily go to my button control and double click on them go one two three four five six okay I've got six buttons on here if you want to see how true it is you just drag them down there's my button six my button five will go over here my button four three two which are these ones here will go inside of a um, what we call a, a what group box so if I put a group box on my form here over there and I just adjust it nicely um, I want to make the form obviously longer so I'm going to just drag it across like that and I want to actually cut this uh, form out this button cut because I want it inside of my control and I paste it so then I've got a button over here and I'm going to do that for button 3 as well. I'm going to paste it in here. So there I've got it. And I want to do it for button 2 as well. Cut and paste. And I've got three buttons inside here. And I've got my button 1 here. So according to this uh, instruction I see it's got start new report for my first button so I'll go down to the name here and I'll call it BTN uh, for short for button which is also part in the textbook and I'll say start new report and as you can see it renames the caption of my button over there and so I go and look under caption and I change I change it to appear the same way that it, it does over here 
start new report I can't get that logo because that's an image that the Unisa lecture obviously has and I don't have access to that if I drag my group box down I can then drag this down here and make it wider if I need to same with my group box I've got a group box here but it's named group box one the name of this one is product list maintenance so I'm gonna go to the name and I'm gonna call it GPB for group box and I'm gonna call it product uh, list maintenance okay and I will obviously go up and look for caption and I want to rename my caption to product list maintenance and then you can drag it a little bit if you want to make it a bit longer my button 2 and inside here I've got an edit box so what this is an edit box so here's my uh, edit box so as long as I've got the group box ticked if I double click on this it adds the edit box inside of my group box okay and that I'm gonna just rename to EDT which is the requirement in the book and I'm just gonna call it product EDT product that is just so that I know what it is called um, we can go into the caption over here um, or it's not caption for this control I think it's called text yes there's text so I could go and clear it out here but I'm actually going to use the clearing on the code of my form startup so that I don't have to do that so I hope that gives a quick introduction on what to add how to add um, yeah I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and may you continue to enjoy programming in Delphi thank you bye bye